Now, it's our time to officially welcome Dr. Ingrid Salas and Maria to the DLSU Libraries and to welcome her collection to its new home. So for those remarks of circumstance, a big round of applause, please, for Dr. Ingrid Salas and Maria. Thank you for the kind words, Ms. Christine and Ms. Janice. From the Ray Pino, DLSU officials, friends and family club. It is such an honor for me to be here before you today on this very significant occasion. An anonymous author once said, and I hear quote, your purpose in life is to find your purpose and give your whole heart and soul to it. As a five-year-old, my mother, Pilar Blanco Sala, gave me my first piano lessons with which I obediently complied. At age 10, I gave my first solo recital, then called the premier recital, something every budding pianist aspired for. At that recital, I clearly knew what I wanted to do in life to be a performing pianist on stage. I had found my purpose. Between that premiere recital and today, there are nearly seven decades. Seven decades of my giving my whole heart and soul to my purpose. My whole artistic life and activities have been adequately, perhaps too excessively, chronicled in all manner of media. Newspapers and magazines, coffee books other than my own, radio, television, and now more recently for a decade on YouTube. This probably could be attributed to the fact that in our country, as in most, it is customary to announce and comment on artistic, cultural, and musical happenings. And truth to say, I have given a thousand or so piano performances here and abroad in the past five and a half decades, officially since 1962. The sheer number of performances then would account for the voluminous amount of newspaper clippings, magazine interviews, concert programs and posters, hundreds of appreciation certificates, and some awards and plaques of recognition. All these, not to mention my passion which extended to collecting miniature pianos, and there are a few hundred of these too. <laughs> the past few years, I have been organizing and collecting these materials in the spirit of documenting how this life I was privileged to have and live was in fact lived. With the help of several friends and associates, we have been able to condense our collections into several categories of big, hardbound books as follows. For example, we have the five red ones there, which are about Sala Foundation, Cebu Youth Symphony Orchestra Development, and Peace Philharmonic. And four pink, outlining my uh, about 400 or so performances with Professor Reyes during our Romantic Piano Concerto Tours. We have also been able to produce four of the table books. My Four Seasons, there, the CYS Old Story, the uh, Peace with Ramon Philippines, and Romantic Piano Concerto Tours. A fifth and final one is a vision for the immediate future, perhaps to be named the Eternal Spring, Maybe because the first one was my four seasons. So the final one may be a winter class or something like that. Apart from the printed word on the auditory side, besides the hundreds of live concert recordings, I felt compelled recently to produce official digitally recorded discs of some major piano concerts. This endeavor resulted in the recording of 11 piano concertos with the Manila Symphony Orchestra. They are contained in six discs. Samples of them are here, part of the donation. 
After this, I went to the Cultural Center of the Philippines and requested for copies of six concertos, all different from the previous 11 that I had performed there over the past decades. I had these six vintage recordings remastered to enhance their sound quality. Then, of course, there are hundreds of videos I have from so many other concerts both here and abroad. Many of them now uploaded on YouTube on my two channels. Ten years ago, I discovered YouTube. I found out we could upload any number of videos at no cost. YouTube then became my new world stage online. My original channel, the Ingrid Sala Santa Maria channel, has some 900 subscribers and over 300,000 views worldwide. Mid-year last year, I decided to open a second YouTube channel, the Dr. Ingrid Sala Santa Maria channel, starting with the officially recorded concertos with better sound quality. Additionally, in this new channel, we have been allowed to upload four concertos as opposed to 10-minute segments allowed 10 years ago. This makes it more convenient to view whole programs instead of cut-up versions as was the case when we started 10 years ago. So, waiting and wallowing through all this memorabilia for years, it has now come to the point of my seriously thinking of a good way to conserve all these for the next generations, possibly and hopefully for inspirational purposes. Surrounded by lights all my life, my husband Joe, his brothers and other family, my son Joey, daughter Cecil, son-in-law Arsene, seven of my grandchildren, and myself being an honorary Lasalite, I looked to the La Salle University, one of the most revered educational institutions in the whole wide world, to help me conserve some aspects of my so-called memorabilia collection. I would like to think that this would align with St. John Baptist de la Salle's vision of completing and enhancing one's education with the knowledge and love of the arts, culture, and music. As someone once said, while it is well enough to leave footprints on sand of time, it is even more important to make sure they point to a commendable direction. During the intensive and extensive Sala Foundation 10-year music development program I spearheaded, my biggest personal sacrifice was not to perform on stage so that I could totally focus on producing excellent young artists. I felt that if I succeeded in doing this, I would have multiplied myself a hundredfold. This, indeed, all modesty aside, would make my footprints point to a worthy destination. And I honestly feel that St. John Baptist de Lausanne would smile and see this endeavor as an extension of his holistic philosophy of education. With this hopefully aligned educational aspiration there, I wish to donate this modest representation of a purposefully lived life in an earnest wish that those whose lives this will touch will be inspired to fulfill their own fullest potential. Not necessarily music, but in their own chosen fields. I would wish for these young adults to aspire to make a difference in their lives and in our world because they experienced a torch lighted at the La Salle University that lighted it. Brother Ray, I hereby turn over this collection to you, to the La Salle University lab, and to anyone who wishes to have us in wonderful libraries to share them. Thank you for leading and lighting the way, Dr. Ray. Animo La Salle.
call on Brother Ray and Ms. Christina Rico of DLSE Libraries. Let me just read the citation. Um, certificate of Appreciation uh, is presented to Dr. Ingrid Sala Santa Maria, the donor, as a way of expressing gratitude for having transferred ownership without remuneration of 90 volumes of books and audiovisual materials in consideration of her generosity and liberality to the De La Salle University through the libraries, the DOMI, who accepts such transfer as shown by the printed name and signature of its authorized representative below, given this 21st day of January 2019 at the De La Salle University, Taft Avenue, Manila, signed Ms. Keshan L. Fernandez, Associate Vice Chancellor for Academic Services, and Ms. Christine M. Abrigo, Director of Libraries. Thank <laughs> you. 